Hi, it's Bob from Baltimore, and you see my reflection in our TV in our living room. I'm turning on the zapper box now, and it will come up momentarily. And you see, this is channel 11. I've, for the sake of this demonstration, I've uh, taken the, uh, I'm just using uh, ATSC 3.0 channels for the guide. Uh, I am in the broadcasting business. I like being an early adopter. And as anyone else who has a, um, a zapper box at this point, at this stage of the game knows that if you have one of these, you are probably the, almost certainly, 100% certain to be the first person on your block to have one. Um, the local channels, as you can see here, that are in ATSC 3.0, um, and in Baltimore, by the way, WBFF TV is the uh, is Sinclair Broadcasting. Sinclair has been pushing ATSC 3.0. I'm in the broadcasting business, but I do not work for Sinclair in this case. But here, let's take a look at their uh, channel 45 here in Baltimore. The tuner takes a little bit to tune in, but you see Judge Judy coming up. Uh, it is uh, nice having this to upscale, by the way, the local broadcasts, which is one of the things I really like about having the zapper box. There it is to the left of our uh, DVR stuff uh, down there. But here in Baltimore, we get back to the guide. Uh, we have the ABC affiliate, the NBC affiliate, the public television affiliate, and the Fox affiliate, which is part of Sinclair Broadcasting. Sinclair has gotten the local stations to get on board with at least sending out a small, uh, relatively um, low power signal for ATSC 3.0. And that's one of the reasons why, even though uh, I live in, the, uh, in Baltimore uh, and we get Washington stations on our centralized antenna system here, I imagine if there are any broad stations broadcasting ATSC 3.0 in Washington, uh, they're doing it with relatively low power at this point. But right now, we're picking up, again, the ABC affiliate, the NBC affiliate, Maryland Public Television, the Fox affiliate, the CBS affiliate is not broadcasting as of yet in ATSC 3.0, but uh, looking forward to the day in the future, not too far hopefully, when we can watch sporting events in 4K on TVs like this one. Take care.